Look, we from the bottom, ain't no problems, we gon' make a way. Got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look, why? Cause we gon' make them pay. We from to our very last game of the night, and this is going to be a tricky one. So, and I'm gonna go through these actual factions, and we can we can talk about this one because I think this is gonna be a good game, a very under the radar game. We got UTSA Roadrunners. They're five and zero on the year, and four and one against the spread. Traveling to Kentucky to take on the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, who are one and three on the year, and three and one against the spread. Injury reports, which I doubt one of these teams. Okay, so UTSA, uh, the quarterback Narcissi. I know I said it wrong. He is out and definitely not sure. Marley, is that the starting quarterback for the year, or is that just a back? No, the starting quarterback. Okay. And then uh, Franklin, the wide receiver, for undeclosed reasons, he did miss last game, so he's questionable for this game this week. While for Western Kentucky, Simon, the tight end, he is out, uh, questionable. UTSA, they actually were down at one point in this game and actually came back, but they beat UNLV 24-14 on the road. While Western Kentucky lost against Michigan State 48 to 31. They started trying to climb back late, and uh, Michigan State just ran away with it. Anywho, UTSA, they're 6 1 against the spread in the last seven games. The Unders hit four out of the last five. They're 5 0 straight up in the last five games. The Unders hit five out of the last six when UTSA is on the road. And they are 4 1 against the spread in the last five games this season. They're two and four straight up in the last six games played in the month of October, but they are five and one against the spread in the last six games when played during week six. The Hilltoppers, they're five and two against the spread in the last seven games. The overseas seven out of the last seven. They're one and four straight up in the last five games, but four and one straight up in the last five games when playing at home. And they almost beat, they almost beat uh Indiana Hoosiers uh, a couple of weeks ago. They're 12 and 5 straight up in the last 17 games when playing against a Conference USA opponent. Western Kentucky, UTSA, Marley, how you feel about this one? UTSA plus three and a half. Um, it's going to be a tight game. <clears throat> Western Kentucky can score averaging damn near 40 points a game, if I'm not mistaken, 39 points a game. But their defense is trash. They give up 35 points a game, and that's going to be the difference. UTSA defense is giving up 17.7 points a game, which they'll give up more than that today. Western Kentucky can score. They'll give up the points, but I think what's going to happen is when they need to get a stop and the game is tight in the fourth quarter, because both of these quarterbacks are playing excellent football, um, and the difference is <clears> – <throat> UTSA can run the ball, and Western Kentucky can't. Western Kentucky only averages 79, less than 100. But they air to put the ball out, 444 passing yards a game. But UTSA is going to run the ball, 161 yards rushing the game. They're going to keep the offense off the field as much as they can. And I think when this game gets tight, I think they'll get the stop that they need in Western Kentucky can. I like UTSA plus the points. Three and a half. I actually think they can win outright, but I'm gonna be safe and take the three and a half. Okay. All right. Uh Flat Top, how you feel about this one? Um, same boat. I mean, Western Kentucky is one dimensional. Um, you know, they pass for a hell of a lot, but they can't run, save their life. And I think realistically it's gonna come down to one stop. Uh so I'm rocking with UTSA. Money line actually, because I think they are going to get it done. Even though this Western Kentucky is better than their one and three record, they had some close games, and um, yeah, they're explosive offense. But I think UTSA is going to find a way to go six and zero uh, and get the plus money. So UTSA money line for me. All right, um, <clears throat> UTSA money line. E Have y'all seen Western Michigan? Play? I mean, Western Kentucky play? I actually have not seen them play. I just looked at the numbers personally. I looked at, so, I looked at one of their games. Well, okay. Their so, game, 
So just kind of give everybody some insight into our viewers. Western Kentucky has a new offensive coordinator. He was the offensive coordinator for Houston Baptist University. When he came to Western Kentucky, he took their quarterback, three starting receivers, an offensive lineman, and a linebacker all came over to Western Kentucky, and they all started the quarterback. So they know this system. They, they remind me of two teams, Texas Tech, back when Mike Leach was coaching, when they had the three-foot lineman splits and it was running spread, and they remind me of that Art Browse Baylor squad right before they tore that goddamn thing down for now that we know for no reason. But um, they aired a bitch out. I mean, they aired it out, man, like – they will they will thrash you. They, they, they the running yards per game is down because they're not a running team. They air it out. It's not that they can't run it. They just don't want to run it. They pass it. They air it out. A couple of games. Uh, Army, you know, 35-38. Thirty, Indy, thirty-three, thirty-one. Michigan State, forty-one, forty-eight, thirty-one. I mean. They air it out, and I'm definitely nervous now. I haven't seen UT, UTSA play. I have heard about them. Um, I do know that they've been getting getting a lot of talent um, mm -hmm. in the state of Texas. I, no, so I can, yeah, I can't speak a lot about them. But this Western Kentucky game, again, last week I thought, hey, man, if there's any upset from a huge underdog, I thought that they might have been able to beat uh, Michigan State just off of a, a letdown game. So, with that being said, I'm going to buck you boys and buck a team in Texas, and I'm going to take Western Kentucky. It's crazy. And, yeah, I haven't seen UTSA play, but I've seen Western Kentucky play, and, man, they air it out. And it's, it's pretty impressive to watch them play. So, I'm going to lean on Western Kentucky right here. Oh, no, I'm going to take an official play. For this, it is tough, but I'm going to take Western Kentucky. Not with them points, but I'll take a money line just to win. So, absolutely so change one thing. So, on mine, I still want to take UTSA. I'm going to take them first half because Western Kentucky, when they were playing against the Army, they were trailing at halftime. They come back. They so come back. Yeah, they're second, yeah, they're they're second half team for sure. First half UTSA money line. I think if they do find a way to come back, it's going to be in the second half. It's not going to be the beginning where they're getting – they're not going to catch UTSA off guard. They know what they have to defend in the first half. So switch mine to UTSA first half money line. Bottom. Ain't no problems, we gon' make a way Got no coach on the field, but we making plays Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay We from 